The home side with a 100% record since the break. UCD still searching for their first away win of the season. Watching this one, Stephen Alkin. The sun seems to be constantly shining on Drogheda United at the moment, and they took the lead on 21 minutes. Great skill by Declan Fabio O'Brien to put Nick Cook's side ahead. UCD played their part in a very good game. Dave McMillan's long-range effort was only inches away from the Drogheda goal, though Gabriel Sava seemed to have it covered. UCD's Paul Corey is back to his best, and his physique was essential here as his shot forced Sava to make a wonderful save. The students produced most of the football and Danny Ledwith's free kick was only inches away. UCD unlucky not to be on terms. Just before the break, United's Paul Crowley went close. Mark McGinley in the UCD goal, happy to see that shot go past his post. Corey was the main orchestrator for the students and from Bellew's cross, United failed to clear. Robbie Benson forced a great save from Sava. Chris Lyons denied on the follow-up. Martin Russell's side are relentless and they kept playing their football. Hugh Douglas with the ball forward and it was substitute Chris Lyons who was denied by Alan McNally in the Drogheda defence. Tiernan Mulvana hasn't had much game time recently and when Dave O'Connor's clearance was blocked by O'Brien, he showed his lack of match sharpness. Right to the end, UCD looked for the equaliser that their play deserves. How fitting that at the final whistle, it was Gabriel Sava who was in possession of the ball, undoubtedly Drogheda's man of the match. That's a sixth win in a row for United as they look forward to their trip to the showgrounds next weekend. The final score, Drogheda United 1, UCD 0. Starting off, I, I always envisaged that we'd be a sixth or seventh place team. But like with 12 games to go, I think that we're going to go to Sligo next Saturday night. And winner takes well, winner doesn't take all. But if we win, we go top of the table. And the lads are already looking forward to that. Well, it's a frustrating night again. We've had a lot, large chunks of the game. Um, but the hard part in this game is putting the ball in the net. And we suffered again tonight. Uh, but I can't fault the lads, the, the, the manner in which we played. And uh, maybe on another night, we'll definitely come away with at least a draw. I think he might be right because, uh, by all accounts, Drogheda were lucky to win that one and yet that's now six wins on the spin, a trip to the showgrounds next Saturday and a chance to go top. It's incredible really, isn't it? I think everybody expects them at some stage to falter, to, to drop points, but you know, they've just gone from strength to strength. Um, it's a really, really big game for them in Sligo. I think you know, if they can win that, you know, they talk about belief an awful lot. You can hear Mick Cook talking about it all the time. That will really, uh, you know, instill a bit of belief in them, and you know they're going to be difficult to beat. They're they're definitely the informed team in the league, but you know if I think if you think about it, will they win the league? I I can't see it. To be very honest, I I don't think. Having to said last. that, they have players the likes of, of Fabio, who's been there, done that, and he gets the goals for you, doesn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Like he's he's an experienced player. He knows the league inside out, and the goal he got the other night was absolutely fantastic. A bit of a bit of a hopeful punt. Um, decent header by the defender, doesn't get it outside the box, but great touch and absolutely fantastic strike. Um, you, can't, you can't teach that, I mean, it's something that obviously is, comes natural to him. A great touch, perfect, and the keeper doesn't have any chance. So good on, uh, on Drogheda, and yet UCD, they've, they've brought so much to the league uh, at the bottom, looking up at the rest at the moment, and, and we hear that they're about to lose Paul Corey, possibly their most influential player at the moment. Their best player, I think he's been consistently their best player this season and you know, it, it must be heartbreaking uh, for Martin Russell. Like, you know, he gets to bring an awful lot of players through the ranks and see them blossom into, into very good, decent players and you know, then obviously has to ship them off or sell them to the other League of Ireland clubs. Um, had a good night the other night, again, was influential throughout for, for UCD and he was probably one of the main reasons why they probably dominated and could have got a, gone away with a point. Um, it's a good system that they have there though, I mean, I, I like seeing um, players taking advantage of it, it's always something that I thought should have been more utilised in the league, but you know, the fact that players can have an option, they can stay at home, they can study, you know, play football at a really high level, then after they, after they get their degree they can maybe go away and, and test their, their skills in England. I'd like to see more players try it and hopefully, if he does go away, hopefully it works out for him. I did mention to uh, UCD officials, by the way, that we should have a, a debate in the, uh, the LNH uh, MNS versus uh, UCD. We might <laughs> do that before the end of the season. Uh, by the way, speaking of Drogheda, uh, their player Shane Grimes, who you'll recall uh, was banned because of a, a, a 
doping offence. Well, the Irish Sports Council have confirmed uh, he's been suspended from all sporting activity for eight months, backdated to the date of the offence. That was the 11th of May. Um, the maximum ban for the offence is, is two years, but in instances where it's accepted the player did not intend to take a performance-enhancing drug, it may be reduced considerably, as it has in this instance. Uh, for the moment, Colin, thank you. That's the fastest-moving first half we've had this season. Join us after the break for more Premier Division action and analysis.